city on the planet. How you feel on this beautiful Monday? Let me take a moment to quickly introduce myself. My name is Kimmy T. You listen to me every morning, Monday through Friday, 5 to 9 on 102.9 KBLX with the Morning Dream Team. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is a pleasure to be here. There are events that I do, but there's events that mean a lot to me. I'm born and raised in San Francisco. I'm a Bernal Heights baby, Cortland kid. So when I hear that Galileo High School is not only the city champ, but the state champ, it makes me extra excited. And when President London Breed asked me to MC this event, there was absolutely no hesitation. There is no place I would rather be than right here and right now. So we are here to honor you guys. The focus is on you. We are so proud of you. And on behalf of the city and county of San Francisco, can we just all say congratulations. Yes, give these young men a standing ovation for all the hard work, all the times you were tired, you wanted to quit, they said you couldn't do it, they didn't believe in you. What are those boys from San Francisco gonna do? They're gonna bring home the ship, is what they did. Bring home the ship. See, I'm kinda cool, don't you worry about it. So we have a lot of people here to celebrate all of your success, and it is with my pleasure, I would love to bring up our first speaker. We have the incredible Vice President of the School Board, Stevon Cook, please. It is such an honor to be here to represent the San Francisco Unified School District um, at City Hall. But I think because the walls are lit with purple, it's somebody else's house today. Whose house? Jesus! Whose house? Jesus! We have to add state champion G House to that because these incredible young student athletes, not only, as a previous speaker said, won the city championship, but took it all the way to the state to win the division, the 6A state title. Um, I would just like to recognize a few of our leaders from the school district. We have President Hydra Mendoza McDonald with us today. Our athletic director for the school district, Don Collins, is also here. And the principal of Galileo High School, Principal Benu, has joined us. Dr. Matthews, our superintendent, wanted to be here, but unfortunately, um, his father passed this weekend. So if we can keep uh, his family in our, in our hearts and our prayers as they uh, go through this uh, difficult time. Um, this is a really incredible occasion. The first time in the history of our city we can gather in honor of a state football champion. So welcome to City Hall. Congratulations, Galileo High School. Um, let's do it again next year. Yeah. That sounded good, say it again. There you go. <laughs> Now, as you know, you have a very, very famous alumni who's so proud of you, who went out of her way to put this event together for you. And not only that, she's sitting right here in the front row. She's been all over the news for all the right reasons, and we all believe in her, and we all trust her, and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be standing here. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one and only President London Breed. All right, all right, it's time for a real celebration. And let me start by saying that Galileo is always making history. When I went to Galileo, 
with Tyrell and Dari, and I don't have my glasses on because I can't see anyone else back there. But it was the first time in the history of the city and county in San Francisco that there was ever a three-peat where we won Turkey Day three years in a row. First time in the history. No one, no one has ever broken that record. Galileo is known for always having an incredible football team. And I was there Turkey Day when you guys beat Mission. Now I love all, now I love all the kids, but Mission's basketball team was here a couple years ago and I had to give it to them because they were the first to bring a basketball state champion to San Francisco. And the Galileo Lions are the first to bring a state championship to San Francisco. Thanks to the leadership of Coach Ewan, who is a lot older than I am, but we went to Galileo at the same time. A couple of years ago when Galileo won Turkey Day, we honored them here at the Board of Supervisors. And what is so incredible about what you did, the hard work, the teamwork, the commitment, the consistency, the drive. When you were out there playing Turkey Day, I just felt like I was a teenager again, rooting for the teams that I used to root for when I was a kid. I was so proud, I was so excited, and I was so incredibly grateful that you basically brought the Galileo spirit back to the hearts of so many generations of Galileo Lions. So, you're not just inspiring the people you go to school with. You're inspiring the entire city. This is the first time that a school, not just a public school, but a private school, any school in the history of this city, they have never done what the Galileo Lions have done with this state championship. And there are so many people here to celebrate. They're alumni, they're family, they're friends. This is all for you. But I have a surprise, one that you probably didn't anticipate. Now, you know when you win the Super Bowl, what do you get for winning this? That's you won a state championship, you're getting rings from the state championship. You're getting rings. Yes. Yes. So I'm so excited. You're getting rings. You're also getting, which is probably not as excited, certificates of honor from me personally. <laughs> Okay. From our assessor recorder, Carmen Chu, who's here. And the point is, when I was at Galileo High School, the reason why I even thought about going to college is because there were so many amazing people who supported me, who encouraged me, who looked out for me, and who made sure that I stayed the course. You all have inspired so many people and you gotta continue to get to work. You gotta continue to work hard and stay the course. Here in the city and county of San Francisco, we celebrate and we honor you tonight. And the real work continues the next day when you gotta go study and make sure you pass those tests. We are counting, we are counting on you. We are counting on you to be the next generation of leaders. We are counting on you all to go to college. We want to see great things out of each and every one of you, and it is on behalf of the city and county of San Francisco, truly my honor as an alumni, as someone who loves Galileo, to be here today to celebrate with you and your family and friends. Thank you so much for being here, and at this time, I am going to issue the certificates of honor and ask, am I? I know we have some more speakers here. 
or we can do it at the end? We'll do it at the end? Okay. So at this time, I'm going to turn it back over to Kimmy. And we didn't have the rings tonight because you have to do what? Give your ring size. But you're going to have rings, so I want you to wear those rings with pride and show them what the Galileo Lions are made of. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Once again, thank you, President London Breed. You guys are getting rings. Ooh, you guys are getting rings. Now, with every team, you have to have a leader. And every leader has a story. In this era, we're talking about dreamers and people with dreams. I bet you $5 at no point did Coach Wynn ever dream that he would be sitting here in City Hall with state champions at his fingertips. You think so? Coming from Vietnam at the age of seven, making his way up, coming over here, and look at the young men that you've inspired, Coach. It is time for us to honor you. San Francisco, get on your feet for your championship, Coach. Coach Wynn. I didn't know I was supposed to talk, so I got this prepared. Actually, no, before I speak, we have a gift for London. I'll bring it down to you. We have the boys signing this for you. Uh-huh. And we have this for you. There you go. All right, uh, it's, uh, thank you for, for this. Uh, I was telling uh, Derek and London earlier, like when we came in 2013, we didn't have this, right? We had upstairs in a quick meeting, we had a photo out here. Uh, so just seeing this, when I walked in at first, like wow, I was impressed, all right? So hopefully you guys are impressed, you guys are impressed? Yeah. yeah? Okay, thanks. All right. uh, I just wanna say, for me as a coach, you're right. You know, when people ask me, did you ever think you'll win a state championship? No, not in my lifetime. I thought I could help build a program leading up to a state championship, right? So I knew we had a chance to win a city championship. And when we got there, I knew we have the game, like we can win this thing. But to move on two more games and win the state championship, it was like, uh, I had a player that always asked me after the game is over, how do you feel, coach? Turkey Day is like, oh, I feel all right. I'm excited for you guys. Uh, NorCal game, oh, I'm a little bit excited now. State championship, I had no words for that, right? No words. And uh, it's, it's the fact that you guys, you don't feel it yet, but you guys are a part of a tradition at Gal, a part of a family at Gal, a part of, part of those guys right there, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> and it's, it's not, it's not gonna leave, right? Nobody's taking this away from you guys. So as a coach, I do appreciate being a part of you guys winning this thing this year. So I'm blessed in that way, right? And other than that, there's uh, nothing to say. I think, honestly, I think we'll do it again next year. So you guys go to class and take care of your class academics, right? That's it, thank you, thank you. Thanks, coach. Now, you guys speak football, right? And we represent the red and gold all day. 49ers. So who better else to give you a celebratory message than a person who's actually represented that team? Galileo High School, the one and only San Francisco 49er legend, Dennis Brown.
Wow. Uh, did you say rings? You guys are getting rings in high school? Wow. I, I, don't, know, I don't know about you, but uh, uh, listening to Miss Breed speak, I was getting fired up because she was talking football and she was talking pride. And I think, I mean, I've come out here every year to be a part of this. And I tell the young men, the young athletes every year, now you're champions. And a lot comes with being champion, a champion. Folks are looking up to you. Your community, they're looking up to you. Everywhere you go now, you are, now you guys are the first time you guys have won the state championship, correct? You guys are now role models. Understand that. A lot of athletes don't get that part. You are now a role model. Everything you do in the city, in school, at home, everybody's looking up to you now. Huge responsibility. Congratulations to you, but understand there's a lot of responsibility. And everything you did to win that state championship, you got to do it in the classroom. All that dedication, all that extra work, you got to do it. That's what's going to happen. Now, you're gonna wear, I wear my ring with pride. Everywhere I go, I tell people, I am a former San Francisco 49er, but I am a champion, and I carry myself as a champion. So this day is fun, but understand now, you guys are role models, and everyone's looking up to you. So congratulations. Thank you from the San Francisco 49ers. Thank you, Lennon, for having us out here. This is fantastic. It's a huge accomplishment for you, but understand, you got a responsibility now. Now let's do it again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And it's at this time, may I please call the captains of the championship team to the podium, please. All right, who's going first? Talk to your team. I'm not good at speech, so <laughs> I would like to say thank you for inviting us here. And thank you, Coach Mark, for the dedication for four years, saying that I would have been a quarterback, you know. Coach Black, I hate you so much in the field sometimes. <laughs> but deep in my heart, I love you. <laughs> love you so much, Coach. <laughs> Especially you guys. I love you guys. And keep it a secret, you'll always be my family. Baseball, eh. You guys, yeah. And thank you. Thank you so much. All right. All right. All right. I just say um, it's been fun. It's a lot of fun. I didn't, I didn't think we'd make it a state. But then I saw, I realized all the talent we had some of it and then um thank you for um inviting us here it's very nice i've never been here so it's a good experience and thank you to my coaches for letting me play and we did all the hard work through my four years here and it was fun <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right these, these four years have been really fun uh, <laughs> I never like never thought that I'll get here to this point as like to being a wide receiver because my freshman year I was I was like I was a lineman. Yeah. <laughs> now she really knew me and then I just slowly transitioned over and then I just never I just never knew that like this can happen. I like we won a championship my freshman year and I really wanted to win it like my either my junior or senior year too, but I never know we could like go farther than that. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know what to say, bro. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for inviting us. Um, also, I had fun this four years. I never knew it would come this fast, but also, I like to thank my whole team 
they're actually showing me what brothers are. In my freshman year, I wasn't doing so good. My grades were bad. Then they motivated us. My coaches, they said I couldn't play because my grades were horrible. But then my sophomore year, I actually decided to make it better. And also my team, they're not one of a kind. They are one of a kind because they put everything behind us. They put what happens in their lives for football. And that's what makes our team special. We're all different, but when we come in the field, we all act like one. So thank you. The captains, they'll look back on this one day and be like, I spoke in there one time. So it's at this point we are going to award these special certificates. So at this time, I need a little help. President London Breed, would you give me a hand? As well as Assemblywoman Carmen Chu, Dennis Brown, please come to the stage. Hydra Mendoza, we're going to need your hand. As well as, come on, Mr. Cook, hand out these special pieces of paper to these fine men. Then what team? I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Derek had a plan. So we're gonna go Here. like this. Yeah. Oh, sure. Carmen Chu and Stephen Chu are up here to give out these great certificates. We are gonna go in alphabetical order. Okay. So the first name I need is Abdul Abzaid. Joseph Ale. Andre Alexander. Andres Arguios. Reese Bickert. Kobe Cabantala. Lionel Dujardin. Ronald Fox, Samir Giradin, Jackie Go, Antonio Haro, Zayru Hayes. He's oh, he had to check. Oh, I'm sorry, Brandon Ho, Andy X. Pedro Jaime Alas, Desan King, did I get it? Johan Lacayo, and we'll stop for a moment, and we'll pick it up. Eric Larinaga, Roberto Lee. Ryan Lee. Kingsley Mai. Max Miles. Giovanni Molinas. Donnie Nagayan. Rafael Oropesa. You are next, Adrian Poot. Thomas Santos. Yarvel Smith. Matthew Tu. Kyrie Coleman. Who else? Garcia 
Garcia, 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 Garcia. Oh, Cesar Garcia. Can't forget about you. And of course, Coach Mark Quinn. Marcus Blackshire Jr. is your offensive coordinator. S Steven Carlton is your head coach. And Daniel Lynch, please come to the stage, assistant coach. Okay. And of course, Galileo Principal. Principal Banal. a round of applause but before we get out of here let's give our time to the woman of the hour the one who made this all happen your president I love how that sounds London Breed just a few remarks to close it out again thank you each and every one of you for being here Thank you, Mr. Brown, for being here. Thank you to Derek Brown, specifically, for all the work that he did to bring us all together. Thank you so much. So you're getting rings. You got certificates. And tonight, City Hall will be lit in purple and gold in your honor. Thank you everybody for being here this evening. Have a wonderful night.